For today's workout, Dom Dos Remedios is back with us again. And when we recorded the introduction warm up, unfortunately, we had a few technical issues. So what I've done, I've just done a voice overlay over the top of the video to help guide you through that warm up. And after that, we'll get Dom back on with proper sound and uh, you'll be able to get straight into this workout. It's a fantastic session using rocks. So if you've got a rock in your garden, go and grab one, a couple of bricks or a backpack, anything with a bit of weight to it. It's a strength-based workout. So enjoy and uh, we'll see you on the other side. To start with, we're going to do some mobilizers, a lot of movement throughout the hip region. Place your hands on the ground or on the object. One foot back, one foot forward, hips down and looking across to that forward knee. And change legs, rotating across, just easing into it. As you start to warm your body up, you can go a bit deeper and look a bit further. One more each side. And here Dom just changes the angle so you can see from that side to see how, uh, how deep he's going. Walking them out again in a similar workout. Now just move into a similar calf stretch and ankle where, mobility. Uh, keep the blood flow moving. Just keep those joints mobile. Left foot up to the left hand. You can put your right knee down on the ground. Stretching out the front and the right hip, you should feel that right hip flexor getting a bit of a stretch there you feel it in the quad and the front of the hip you can reach your arm up higher get up through that functional line up through under the armpit you can reach for the sky slowly pushing forward and drawing your belly button inward hands back down swap legs right foot forward left knee on the ground you push forward here again Keeping your back nice and tall, you'll notice Dom's not arching. Tuck the tailbone in, draw the belly button in. So tuck your tailbone under your body, draw the belly button in. Reach your hand for the sky. And just slightly pulsing forward without arching the spine too much. Keep the spine as neutral as possible. And standing up. Going one and a half times shoulder width. Tilt your hips to the side slightly and push out to one side. Just feel that through the groin. And then across to the other side. So we're mobilizing the hips. We're not stretching. So we're going side to side. We're not actually doing a static stretch here. That's a long-term flexibility focus focusing on mobilizing, getting some blood flow into the hip capsule. And this is where we realized we had audio problems. So now he's just reaching forward to do a hamstring stretch. Nice and relaxed and then rolling the spine up one vertebrae at a time and then opening up the chest and collapsing forward, rolling the spine down one vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly, only to where you feel comfortable. If you're not fully warmed up and if you've got tight hamstrings or a tight lower back don't go too far down on this one just you can drop your hands to your knees if you like and then just focus on that spine flexibility and mobility so rolling the spine back up like a cat would like a nice cat stretch and then opening up the chest at the top
And the last one, we're doing a reverse lunge and opening up the chest again. A lot of things we do are in front of our body. So here Dom's opening up the front of his chest to undo some of that major work that we're doing every day, driving car, typing on the keyboard, looking down at our phone. And now he's just working through a different plane of motion off to the side, working through that hip, opening up the groin, activating the outside glute. Just rolling the shoulders over, just shake it out. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your hips. So we're gonna be working a, a strength circuit here, 45 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest. Um, we're gonna keep the movements relatively simple um, and I'll be using a timer here. So hopefully uh, you guys will pick this up at home. Um, so the first movement we're gonna do is a deadlift. Uh, really simple, wanna keep the back nice and straight. Basically it's picking up an object off the ground. In this case, we're doing a rock fit workout. So we're gonna do everything with a rock. If you don't have a rock at home, you need to substitute it with something else. It might be, you know, your sturdiest backpack full of uh, all sorts of goodies, um, something heavy, baked beans, small children, whatever you can find. Um, if you don't have access to a backpack, um, maybe get on down to your local supermarket and grab the biggest bottle of, uh, of water you can with a handle and maybe you can use that. But hopefully you can improvise and use something around the, house, the home. So the first movement we're gonna do is a deadlift. And we're gonna simply take our feet wide, slightly out into a sumo position. We're gonna drop our butt down to our object, grip it nicely, keep our chest and shoulders back, and we're gonna stand up with it. And we're gonna drop it back down and stand up. So that's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two is gonna be an offset squat. So I'm gonna bring the rock or object up to my shoulder on one side, and I'm gonna do a squat movement with the weight on one side of my body. And that's gonna be really good because um, we don't always have perfect balance in our body. And this is gonna allow us to, um, to stay quite uh, unstable, which is gonna train different muscle groups. So we're gonna do a set on the right shoulder, then a set on the left shoulder. And then we're gonna go down into a bent over row position and do a row. That's gonna be our first little circuit. So you ready? Three, two, one. First set of work coming up. And down you go, 45 seconds. So lifting up. Now, if you've got a light object, I want you to go super slow because our formula for getting mass or load into the body or force into the body is force equals mass times acceleration. So I can't change the mass if I'm using a lighter object, but I can change the acceleration. I can go nice and slow. So this rock is probably not heavy enough for me to get super lot of load in my system, but I can now slow it down and I'm gonna work less reps, but under more control. We've got 10 seconds. Good, my back is nice and straight. And rest, put the object down, roll the shoulders out, shake the hands and feet. Use this rest, cause it's gonna feel like it's a little bit easier to start with, but as I said, you're gonna feel it towards the end. So roll your shoulders back. I'll change position on this next one so that you can see from a side position of the body. All right, three, two, one. Here comes our second exercise. So we're gonna come up to the shoulder and we're gonna do a side squat with the weight on our shoulder. Again, nice and slow. You'll notice you have to stabilize a lot more muscles because we haven't got the weight nice and balanced. If it's uncomfortable on the shoulder, you can just hold it to the side of your body. Hopefully you can get it up on the shoulder. We've got five seconds. And rest. Make sure you lower that carefully. Whew. Okay, so we're working 45 seconds, 30 seconds rest. Use that time wisely, roll the shoulders around. Give the hands and shoulders a shake out. Whew. So we got 10 seconds, we're going the other shoulder, okay? So same movement, other shoulder. Three, two, 
one, up. Weight up on the shoulder, same squat position. Keep your chest up nice and tall. You lower down as far as comfortable if you can get the butt down to the ground. Towards the ground, that's great, but just work through your range of motion. And again, light object, work slower. Good. Slow and steady, trying to put force through our system. We've got five seconds. And time. All right, we're going to work the back here. So we're going to do a couple of chest openers. Try to make sure our body's <clears throat> staying moving during this rest period. But I'm just going to completely rest. But it's a good time to grab some water. Shake the body out. We've got 10 seconds. So we're going into our fourth movement, which is the bent over row. I'll start front on and I'll show you a side on view. So we're going to do a deadlift to pick the object up. We're going to now hinge at the waist and we're going to row the weight into our chest. Keeping our back nice and strong. So it looks like this. Hinge movement. Back nice and flat, not rounded. Nice and flat. Ten seconds. Stick with it if you can. And time. Beautiful. 30 seconds rest. So that's the end of our first little circuit. And we're going to build on that as we go. All right, we've got 10 seconds. So we're now going back to our single shoulder position and we're gonna go into a reverse lunge instead of a squat this time. So let's come up to the shoulder. So unlike the squat the first round, we're now gonna reverse lunge. Nice and slow and steady. Should be feeling this by now. If you're using an object with some considerable weight and size, tend to go. Three, two, one. You should be feeling this now. Here's your 30 seconds rest. So we're going reverse lunge other side. All right, getting ready. We've got seven, five, four, three, two, one. Up on the shoulder. You'll notice there's a lot more stabilization going on with the weight. Again, not centered, but on one side of the body. Great for preparing your body for what it has to do in real life. All right, 10 seconds. And time. I'm feeling this, hopefully you are too. We're gonna to do one more movement. We're gonna go back to our row movement. Often the neglected part of the body is the lower back. This time we're gonna add a hinge into each movement. So we're gonna add a hinge in between each row to break it up because we should be fatiguing a little bit. We got five to go. 
All right, dead lift the weight up. Good. Hinge into it. Do a row. And then stand back up. Good. It's almost a straight legged deadlift. Row. And then back up again. My back is staying nice and straight the whole way through. I want to come up to neutral. I don't want to hyperextend that back. Three, two, one, and time. All right, grab yourself some water. At the end of our circuit, you're going to repeat that whole thing again three times. Awesome work. Are you ready? Three, two, and down you go, 45 seconds. And rest. Put your object down. Roll the shoulders out. Shake the hands and feet. Use this rest. So roll your shoulders back. I'll change position on this next one so that you can see from a side position in the body. All right. Three, two, one. Here comes our second exercise. So we're gonna come up to the shoulder and we're gonna do a side squat with the weight on our shoulder. Again, nice and slow. So you'll notice you have to stabilize a lot more muscles because we haven't got the weight nicely balanced. If it's uncomfortable on the shoulder, you can just hold it to the inside of your body. But hopefully you can get it up on the shoulder. We've got five seconds. And rest. Make sure you lower that carefully. Whew. Okay, so we're working 45 seconds, 30 seconds rest. Use that time wisely, roll the shoulders around. Give the hands and shoulders a shake out. Whew. So we've got 10 seconds, we're going the other shoulder, okay? So same movement, other shoulder. Three, two, one, up. Weight up on the shoulder, same squat position. Your chest up nice and tall. You lower down as far as comfortable. If you can get the butt down to the ground, towards the ground, that's great. But just work through your range of motion. 
And again, light object, work slower. Good. Slow and steady. Trying to put force through our system. We've got five seconds. And time. All right, we're going to work the back here. So we're going to do a couple of chest openers. Try to make sure our body's <clears throat> staying moving during this rest period, but I'm just going to completely rest, but it's a good time to grab some water. Shake the body out. We've got 10 seconds. So we're going into our fourth movement, which is the bent over row. I'll start front on and I'll show you a side on view. So we're going to do a deadlift to pick the object up. We're going to now hinge at the waist and we're going to row the weight into our chest. Keeping our back nice and strong. So it looks like this. Hinge movement. Back nice and flat, not rounded. Nice and flat. Ten seconds. Stick with it if you can. And time. Beautiful. Thirty seconds rest. Alright, we've got 10 seconds. So we're now going back to our single shoulder position and we're going to go into a reverse lunge instead of a squat this time. So let's come up to the shoulder. So, unlike the squat the first round, we're now going to reverse lunge. Nice and slow and steady. Should be feeling this by now. Just need to use an object with some considerable weight and size. Ten to go. Three, two, one. All right, getting ready. We've got seven, five, four, three, two, one. I'll put on the shoulder. You'll notice there's a lot more stabilization going on with the weight. Again, not centered, but on one side of the body. Great for preparing your body for what it has to do in real life. All right, 10 seconds. And time. We're going to do one more movement. We're going to go back to our row movement. Often the neglected part of the body is the lower back. This time we're going to add a hinge into each movement. So we're going to add a hinge in between each row to break it up because we should be fatiguing a little bit. We've got five to go. All right, deadlift the weight up. Good. Hinge into it. Do a row and then stand back up. Good. So much a straight legged deadlift. Row and then back up again. My back is staying nice and straight the whole way through.
I want to come up to neutral. I don't want to hyper extend that back. Three, two, one, and time. All right, grab yourself some water. That's the end of our circuit. Down you go, 45 seconds. And rest. Put the object down. Roll the shoulders out. Shake the hands and feet. Use this rest. So roll your shoulders back. I'll change position on this next one so that you can see from a side position in the body. All right. Three, two, one. Here comes our second exercise. So, we're gonna come up to the shoulder and we're gonna do a side squat with the weight on our shoulder. Again, nice and slow. So you'll notice you have to stabilize a lot more muscles because we haven't got the weight nicely balanced. If it's uncomfortable on the shoulder, you can just hold it to the side of your body. But hopefully you can get it up on the shoulder. We've got five seconds. And rest. Make sure you lower that carefully. Whew. Okay, so we're working 45 seconds, 30 seconds rest. Use that time wisely, roll the shoulders around. Give the hands and shoulders a shake out. Whew. So we've got 10 seconds, we're going the other shoulder, okay? So same movement, other shoulder. Three, two, one, up. Right up on the shoulder, same squat position. Keep your chest up nice and tall. You lower down as far as comfortable. If you can get the butt down to the ground, towards the ground, that's great. But just work through your range of motion. And again, light object, work slower. Good. Slow and steady, trying to put force through our system. We've got five seconds. And time. All right, we're gonna work the back here. So we're gonna do a couple of 
chest opens. Try to make sure our body's <clears throat> staying moving during this rest period, but I'm just gonna completely rest, but it's a good time to grab some water. Shake the body out. We've got 10 seconds. So we're going into our fourth movement, which is the bent over row. I'll start front on and I'll show you a side on view. So we're gonna do a deadlift to pick the object up. We're gonna now hinge at the waist and we're gonna row the weight into our chest. Keeping our back nice and strong. So it looks like this. Hinge movement, back nice and flat, not rounded, nice and flat. Ten seconds. Stick with it if you can. And time. Beautiful. 30 seconds rest. All right, we've got 10 seconds. So we're now going back to our single shoulder position and we're gonna go into a reverse lunge instead of a squat this time. So let's come up to the shoulder. So unlike the squat the first round, we're now gonna reverse lunge. Nice and slow and steady. Should be feeling this by now. If you're using an object with some considerable weight and size, tend to go. Three, two, one. All right, getting ready. We've got seven, five, four, three, two, one. Up on the shoulder. You'll notice there's a lot more stabilization going on with the weight. Again, not centered, but on one side of the body. Great for preparing your body for what it has to do in real life. All right, 10 seconds. And time. We're going to do one more movement. We're going to go back to our row movement. Often the neglected part of the body is the lower back. This time we're going to add a hinge into each movement. So we're going to add a hinge in between each row to break it up because we should be fatiguing a little bit. We've got five to go. All right, deadlift the weight up. Good. Hinge into it. Do a row and then stand back up. Good. It's almost a straight legged deadlift. Row and then back up again. My back is staying nice and straight the whole way through. I want to come up to neutral, I don't want to hyperextend that back. Three, two, one, and time. All right, grab yourself some water. That's the end of our circuit.
You ready? Three, two, and down you go. 45 seconds. And rest. Put the object down. Roll the shoulders out. Shake the hands and feet. Use this rest. So roll your shoulders back. I'll change position on this next one so that you can see from a side position in the body. All right. Three, two, one. Here comes our second exercise. So we're gonna come up to the shoulder and we're gonna do a side squat with the weight on our shoulder. Again, nice and slow. So you'll notice you have to stabilize a lot more muscles because we haven't got the weight nicely balanced. If it's uncomfortable on the shoulder, you can just hold it to your side of your body. But hopefully you can get it up on the shoulder. We've got five seconds. And rest. Make sure you lower that carefully. Whew. Okay, so we're working 45 seconds, 30 seconds rest. Use that time wisely, roll the shoulders around. Give the hands and shoulders a shake out. Whew. So we've got 10 seconds, we're going the other shoulder, okay? So same movement, other shoulder. Three, two, one, up. Right up on the shoulder, same squat position. Keep your chest up nice and tall. You lower down as far as comfortable. You can get the butt down to the ground. Towards the ground, that's great. But just work through your range of motion. And again, light object, work slower. Good. Slow and steady. Trying to put force through our system. We've got five seconds. And time. All right, we're gonna work the back here. So we're gonna do a couple of chest openers. Try to make sure our body's <clears throat> staying moving during this rest period. We're not just gonna completely rest, but it's a good time to grab some water. Shake the body out. We've got 10 seconds. So we're going into our fourth movement, which is the bent over row. I'll start front on and I'll show you a side on view. So we're going to do a deadlift to pick the object up. We're going to now hinge at the waist and we're going to row the weight into our chest. Keeping our back nice and strong. So it looks like this. Hinge movement, back nice and flat, not rounded, nice and flat. Ten seconds. Stick with it if you can. And time. Beautiful. Thirty seconds rest.
All right, we've got 10 seconds. So we're now going back to our single shoulder position and we're gonna go into a reverse lunge instead of a squat this time. So let's come up to the shoulder. So unlike the squat the first round, we're now gonna reverse lunge. Nice and slow and steady. Should be feeling this by now. If you're using an object with some considerable weight and size, tend to go. Three, two, one. All right, getting ready. We've got seven, five, four, three, two, one. Up on the shoulder. You'll notice there's a lot more stabilization going on with the weight. Again, not centered, but on one side of the body. Great for preparing your body for what it has to do in real life. All right, 10 seconds. And time. We're going to do one more movement. We're going to go back to our row movement. Often the neglected part of the body is the lower back. This time we're going to add a hinge into each movement. So we're going to add a hinge in between each row to break it up because we should be fatiguing a little bit. We got five to go. All right, deadlift the weight up. Good. Hinge into it. Do a row and then stand back up. Good. It's almost a straight legged deadlift. Row and then back up again. My back is staying nice and straight the whole way through. I want to come up to neutral, I don't want to hyper extend that back. Three, two, one, and time. All right, grab yourself some water. That's the end of our circuit. All right, guys, great job today on the workout. So we're going to cool down now. And a cool down is generally, uh, you know, reducing the heart rate down, trying to get a little bit more movement into the system. So we're going to start with the upper body since we've done a bit of upper body uh, in, in this workout. All we're going to do is add a little bit of rotation. So just let the arms swing, 
pivot on the foot and just let the shoulders rotate through. Good. Just take one hand up, push the hip out to the side, get a good stretch through the side of the body, and then come the other side, feet on train tracks. Feels really good through the hips for me. Do one more each side. Good, we're gonna open the chest and stretch through the legs. So down into a lunge position, open up, feel a good stretch through that front hip flexor. And come back. Good. Feet double shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend that knee, drop that leg in, tilt those hips so you feel a stretch through that inner groin. And as we do that, I'm gonna reach across the body. Good, change the other side. So get the set, stretch set. Reach across the body. Good, let's do one more each side. Drop the hip down, reach across. Reach across. Beautiful. We're gonna go down into a downward dog. Step your right foot outside your right hand. Drop your knee down to the ground. Again, nice stretch through the hip flexors because we worked integratively through the core and through the trunk. So our hip flexors normally get a lot of work. Good. Change sides. Stretching in and out of that hip. I'm not bouncing it, I'm just easing into the stretch and coming out of it. Very subtle and try to make it rhythmic. Beautiful, hands back down, we'll finish with a calf stretch. So heels down to the ground, pedaling the feet out. Hip, one more each side. Now walk your hands back towards the feet. Ragdoll the body and then just slowly come up one vertebra at a time. Taking a couple of deep breaths. Roll the shoulders. Great work today, guys.